Scheren Schnitte, which means scissors cuts in German, is the art of paper cutting design. It was founded in Switzerland and Germany in the 16th century and was brought to colonial America in the 18th century by immigrants who settled primarily in Pennsylvania. Not all Scheren Schnitte is symmetrical like the ones that we're looking at here, but I think a symmetrical Scheren Schnitte design is going to be easier for a beginner like me and like you than trying to do one that's not symmetrical. For this you're going to need a piece of paper at least as big as typing paper and a pair of scissors preferably small and pointed and a paper punch and a pencil. And you'll need a piece of contrasting paper for the background and some glue to glue it onto the background. You start the same way you would if you were going to fold paper to make a symmetrical paper heart. To make a, a symmetrical Sharon Schnitte, you have to fold your paper in half to start with and crease it good. And then you can draw pretty much anything you want, but what you need to do is make sure that it's connected with the fold. So the fold's on that side, so I'll be drawing from that side. So you basically you draw from the fold. And I'm going to make a squirrel on a branch, I guess. And I've got to remember that the side that I'm drawing on won't be the side that's seen. So if there's some lines on here that I don't like, it doesn't really have to cause a problem because it'll be turned over anyway. When you're drawing this kind of stuff, think about the fact that you're going to be cutting it out with scissors. And you can cut intricate things, but if cutting with scissors is hard for you at all, you might want to stick with something a little bit more simple. And you want to draw as clearly as you can because it'll be easier to cut out and it'll be easier to follow. Also, these kinds of things are prettier if they have some enclosed spaces. And so I'm going to be making sure that I have some enclosed spaces in here. Okay, I didn't like that line, but that doesn't mean I have to start over because remember, it's going to be seen from the other side. So any lines that I have that I don't want, they'll be hidden unless I cut on them accidentally. So the line that's closest to the squirrel's belly I don't want. The one below it I do want. I do want. So when you're making mistakes like that, which you probably will, don't get discouraged and think you have to start over because I didn't. Now one way to get your scissors blades cleanly into enclosed spaces is to take a hole punch and punch a hole in the enclosed spaces so that you can just slide your scissors blades in there without pushing and risking tearing. The only problem is sometimes it's hard to get a hole in where you want it to go because um, it might be a little bit farther from the edge. So I'm folding this up a little bit so I can get my hole punch in that enclosed space, but I'm having a bit of trouble. If you have to fold up a piece like that to get the hole punch over into the space where you want to get it, you're going to have to be careful so that the wrinkle doesn't stay permanent. Take your time when you're cutting this out. It's going to be a beautiful design and it's worth the time that you take. So don't feel like you have to hurry. And you might um, find it easier to like cut into an area like the one I'm cutting into now from the outside on both sides instead of cutting into the inside and then um, turning your scissors or turning the paper. But I'm still having trouble getting this clipped off so I have to lift it up a little bit and clip it. <laughs> Doesn't really want to help me here. There we go. See some of the procedures you're going to have to go through when you're doing some intricate cutting. And I start from the outside and cut in and then I start from the outside and cut in again going in the other direction. 
and that makes it easier doing a cut like that one see like this just in and then pull it out don't worry about the background or well the actual space around your design being um, all cut into pieces because you're not really trying to keep that part together anyway so just do whatever makes it easiest to cut neatly even if you have to chop the negative space around this design into little pieces before i go too much further and the paper gets too fragile i'm going to cut in some of my enclosed areas and i needed a smaller pair of scissors to do that i had a pretty big pair to go around the outside and so use a narrow blade and uh, be very careful stick your blade in through the hole that you made with the hole punch and clip out any little extra pieces that try to remain there and just take your time I can't stress that enough kind of think of it as you're painting a picture you know because you're making a picture you're just using a different media This little area that's between the squirrel and the branch is so narrow that it's probably going to be a little bit more difficult to cut out. It wasn't narrow enough that I couldn't get a hole in there, but it's still hard to really maneuver. So this is one of those areas where I know for sure that the shape that's in there is going to be cut into little pieces to get it out of there. See, I'm cutting this out in pieces as I go. Okay, there's one little piece that's going to fall out. Well, I'll be tugged out a little bit by my fingers. And see, here's another little piece. I'm just taking my time going along that branch. Okay, so I've got two little pieces out. They were all the same shape to start with. And cut in from the outside on both of them. And then cut across like that. You can open it every now and then to see what, what it looks like. See, you still can't really tell that there's a squirrel there, but you will be able to tell. And I'm going to go into my largest enclosed area and start clipping out chunks of it until I get it all out of there. All right, after you finish cutting, you can take a look at it and see if there's any other cuts you want to make to make sure that your image is clear. And I think I can pretty much leave it the way it is. I could go in and cut out the squirrel's eye if I wanted to. And I'm going to glue it on a background now. I'm starting with it folded in half and I've lined up the edge of it with the edge of my piece of paper that I'm using from my background. And then I'm just applying little dots of glue, and I'm sure there's other kinds of glue to use. And you just want to make sure that all of your strategic spots are glued down, that you don't have things flopping down when you go to hang it up. But you don't want to have a whole bunch of like really um, thick glue like gushing out and making your paper, paper all wrinkled. So once you've hit all your strategic areas, unfold it and hold it really in place, the part that's down against the paper, and just smooth it. So that part's going to be glued down now, and the other part isn't yet. Okay, so now I fold this one over. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to apply my glue in little dots. And again, you want to make sure you get all of the areas that you're going to need to have held by the glue, but you don't want to have a thick layer of glue because it'll make the paper wrinkle and it'll squish out. Okay, now once you get the glue all on, just very carefully 
roll that over onto the other side and smooth it down. And now you have both sides glued down. And this is called Sharon Schnitter.